I'm live. <laughs> Hey, you look fantastic. Thanks. I'm, I'm glad you that worked out. That great, like, cardboard. <laughs> I'm loving it. You know, what, you know I'll what I'll do is, is um, I'm going to also, also record, record this, this so, that so that you guys can, can um, host, host like a, like a stream through on it. On it. Cool, cool. <laughs> I'm making sure that you guys have a good view of what I'm doing as well. You see, see that, that okay? okay? Yeah, I bet. Right. Hopefully you guys can see that. See me okay. Perfect. Holla. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and this is my, uh, that's my, my Instagram, by the way. So I know that you guys probably share that, but there you go. If anybody's looking. You can't quite see it on the, the screen. Um, I might move it out of the way because I have to see you. Because I have to see you instead. You know what I'll do? Here, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something extra special here. This for me? <laughs> yeah, well, ish, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure, just for you, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it itty bitty so that it doesn't interrupt what, what I'm, I'm doing. doing. <laughs> so, so tell, tell me, me when, when we have, have enough people, people for me to attempt, attempt to be entertaining. entertaining. <laughs> While we're uh, waiting for people to come join, I don't know if you can see, but you know, you can see, see the whole thing. thing. Yes! I mean, I mean, you got the black petticoat, petticoat and you got, got the, the, you got the, the shoes. shoes. Perfect. 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 I'm, I'm loving, loving it. it. Uh, you know. Wait, well, let, let me see your key. key. Let me see the key. There. Yes! And of course, another little flashlight. Yes! Oh my god, I'm loving it. All right, you have to get like a whole, you guys have to get a whole like shoot for me. I'm so, so looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah I, I love, love that. that. I'm sad, though, because I was going to show you first in person at SD RocketCon. I know. Oh, you know. It's just heart, heartbreaking. <laughs> it's okay, I'll get to see it soon, I hope. Yes. Hopefully soon, soon in person. person. All right. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's me. I'm the guy with the hand. Like, 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 babe, like, like, babe with the power. <laughs> See, now I was thinking, like, like it's like a gadget, you know, the claw. Yes. <laughs> well, 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 well. Exactly. All right, all right, all right. So, so I'm, I'm just, just going to start, start painting, painting because I don't, I don't have, have much time. time. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so, so I start out with my negative, uh, my negative space. space. So, so if anybody asking questions, questions, you're just going to have to read it to me, all right, Because... Okay. Hold on, I'm going to pop out the screen here for half a second, and then make sure I can see well enough. So I can see if any comments come in. Actually, you know what, I'm just going to have to put this on my laptop. So far, so good. And then I will... Couple pictures. Which, Which one, one are we kind of duplicating? I'm liking the one with the flashlight light in your right, right hand. hand. I was kind of like, yes. yes, I'm, I'm loving, loving it. it. So, so um, it's, it's fun, fun because, because uh, people, people, many, many people, people don't, don't know this, and they don't understand, understand the reference. But it was a piece that I did quite some time ago, um, and it was 
it was, was Jessica, Jessica Rabbit, Rabbit um, and, and it, it was Twilight, Twilight Zone Tower of Terror piece. piece. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, I think it was just like drop, drop in sometime, sometime or something, something like, like that. that. <laughs> That, uh, let's see here. I'm getting this, 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 this negative, this negative, negative space building. building. Um, uh, yeah, and it was, uh, after I did um, Get it Ready, I showed yeah. you the piece. So, uh, I love it. And then I got so to see people, people get it. it. So, yeah. so yeah. at the exit, at the exit of Twilight, Twilight Zone, Tower of Terror in Florida, is a, there's a door that this, and it's, it's basically, it's basically the, the whole thing, thing is based, based on the Rose of the Hotel in Hollywood, um, and uh, so it's, it's, it's this kind of old, you know, like California, like California Spanish architecture, and there's these beautiful tiles, um, and it was just a neat thing. I mean, it, I, thought I thought it was a perfect time for old Hollywood for Jessica, Jessica to be in there. there so it worked. It worked, it worked rather beautifully. No, no, as, as soon, soon as I saw, saw the, the piece, I was like, this is the costume I have. Uh, and, and nobody's nobody done it. So people, people have done, done my Jessica's before. Mm -hmm. As far as, as um, you know, you know they've, they've been inspired by stuff. stuff. I, have, I, have I have an Australian, Australian cosplayer that's done by Jessica. Jessica. Um, she has my TJ Jessica, Jessica uh -huh. which is uh, another one of my favorites. But, but, um, but nobody's, nobody's done my, this is the first, my main voyage into Hollywood, Hollywood Tower of Terror, Jessica. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah, I, I, I like to do like, like and just because, because it's one of those characters, like, like I've always wanted to cosplay. Yeah. yeah. How, many How many people, like, you, you know, know, cosplay her, her, her just generic, generic like, like, like a red dress? dress. And it's beautiful. Right. Let's see all of them. But I, I like to do things, things that are, you know, a little more out of Well, yeah, yeah and this is super, super esoteric. esoteric. So, so either yeah. you almost, almost have, have to be a fan of my stuff in order to see this in the first place. Um. So, so it's, uh, uh, it, 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 it works, works beautifully. beautifully. So, so the people, the people that, get that get it will really, really, really get it. And I am, I am, I am, I am honored, honored that, that you went with, with that, that design. design. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. How hot is it? How hot is it? Are you guys in the AZ? You guys are in the AZ? And how hot is it right now? And how hot is it right now? Way too hot. Actually, today, actually, today, it's only 105. And I can say, I can say only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to walk. Yeah, out I had to, to walk out to go down and get coffee. And, um, and, um, I had to deal with the. I had to deal with the 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 seventy the seventy ocean breeze anyway. So I, so I, 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 I
So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I saw. Um, I saw. Um, I was at D twenty three. D twenty three. Two years ago. Three years ago. Years ago? Um, there was. Um, there, was a a there was a Jessica Rabbit Jessica Ariel, Rabbit cosplay. Ariel cosplay. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. It was cute. really. It was actually, really. So it was. Actually, um, so it was. Um, there's a couple things I might have done. A couple things I might have done. It was basically. It was basically. It was an Ariel and an Ariel inspired dress. Um. And like the body. And like the body. This body area had shells. Had shells. Uh -huh. So it was like a mermaid dress, mermaid and, dress the and, and the bodice area had like these art deco shells. Like it was shells. It was I wish I got a photo. I wish I got a photo it was like because it was like it was so it was so, so cute and so cute. with the red and hair with course. the red hair of course. Mm -hmm. It was uh, it was uh, we've talked about we've talked about the past that is a really that is a really cute idea. We've talked about doing we've talked about doing like a Ursula and Ursula Jessica Rabbit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, that would be, you know, again, yeah, you kind of make it, yeah, you kind of progress. Well, Jessica, well, Jessica cosplay, it's, it's such, such a cosplay, cosplay, you know, treasure chest, no, treasure of, chest, because anything, that you, anything put that you put in, in Jessica, gonna feel like one of her show costumes, and yeah. it works, and it works, it, just, it works it naturally, it works naturally, um, works naturally. Um, anyway, so, anyway, so, that's cool, I love it, and by the way, I love it, and by the way, I'm loving this, what you decided to do with, uh, with the, the bodice here, the bodice is open, this, this little open chest area. Yeah. It's very you cute. You gave me a, a nice little drawing. I, I'm, I'll have to show you. I don't know if you remember. You drew on the back of your, your print what, you know, it kind of should be. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, you got it. You got it. You, you, you done, done good, good, kid. Thank you. You done so, good. I have to say, these uh, little the lines with the buttons <laughs> were just <laughs> such a pain to like. Other than a nightmare. I know. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't designing, designing it for costumes. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of that that happens. No, I'm, I'm missing a, I'm missing a, a, I'm picture, missing a picture, picture here, Derek. Here, Derek. Yeah, one yeah, second. one second. We're having we background, background, background echo because, because she doesn't, because have, she doesn't have a headphones, headphones, in. headphones in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what is this? What is this? Yeah, we need to yeah, put one of you guys on headphones real quick. Hold on, hold on. I might have some headphones. Hold on a second. Oh, sweet. If you have headphones, that makes it super easy. Hold on. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'll be back five, 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 five minutes or less. Five minutes or less. Okay. Okay. So, so. There's your settings. There's your Bluetooth. Okay. Let me go pause this. Other device. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. We'll be back shortly. Oh, it's probably connected to my phone. <laughs> no, we just needed a Zen break. <laughs> That's exactly it. We needed a Zen break. That's what it was. <laughs> Perfect. So, okay. So the wig, it, can you, is that wig something that you could have, you could style? Um, like, is it, is it, could you have styled it like Ariel? Yeah. Or is that because it's such it's it's just the right color for for Jessica? That's that that kind of deeper, got more of a purple tone rather than yeah. orange. Because um, sometimes they'll you'll see these wigs and it's like it's so um, it's so damn bright. It's like it's like Ronald McDonald, you know, totally. instead of being that kind of deeper purple tone. Yeah, it's one of those like it's like a hard thing with reds because like yeah. it's really easy for it to look almost kind of cheesy, like you were saying, yep. like yep. And, yeah, so, like, I, I searched really hard to find, like, a nice base red that I like. No, and it's a good, it's a good red red. <laughs> it's funny, it's funny. I, I used a very, similar very similar wig for my poison, poison ivy recently. recently. Yeah, and yeah. And we pulled we through, pulled through, through and, and said, like, oh, she looks just like Ariel. Like Ariel. And then, and then oh, I started right. wearing all, oh, like, like ivy, ivy all over all my, body. my body. And she goes, yeah. oh, 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 except, except for the, the costume. The costume, costume looks like, like poison ivy. And I was like, 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 like seaweed. seaweed. So, so, you know, you know I, I just, just then look like, like poison, poison ivy. ivy. <laughs> <laughs> It was really cute. Really 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 and Ariel, 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 Ariel poison, poison Ivy, Ivy crossover, crossover would actually be really cute. cute. That could be really cute. Too. I, I'm not, I'm not, uh, please, please don't read that. We're not like being recorded or anything, right? Not at all. This is just like talking. Perfect. Perfect. Do you think 
Yes, yes. So, so, so have you been on the... the uh, uh, yeah, you have yeah, the Bell Tower, Tower of Terror. In, in, I, have, in, in I, have, Atlanta. I have. I have. Oh my god, it's my slave. Uh, oh my god, oh my god. Me, me too. too. I, I, I actually have lots, lots of pictures, pictures of me screaming, screaming in terror. It's like, <laughs> I love, I love it. it. On the, on the, uh, uh, the, 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 the one, the one in, in Singapore. Singapore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. So I, so I have Tokyo. Tokyo. Um, 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 Tokyo, Tokyo Disney, Disney Sea is really, is really cool because the Tokyo, Tokyo Disney, Disney Sea Tower, 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 Tower mm-hmm. is, is all, um, 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 it's, 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 so Harrison, so Harrison High Tower is the guy that's like a Ripley's Believe It or Not theme type thing more. And it's just, it's got all these really cool collections and there's a Tiki Idol that disappears right in front of you. That disappears right in front of you. Right um, oh, that's, that's cool. and, it's, and it's oh my god, oh my god it's, it's like one of the best, best effects, effects I've, I've ever I've ever seen, seen. of course Joe, Joe, Joe Rody is a genius um, 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 who, who was the, was the, the, the the artist, the artist behind, 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 behind it. Um, but there's, um, there's but this effect where there's this, there's this, there's this, there's this tiki, tiki idol and you go into, you go into this room and the tiki idol the way that this tiki idol disappears is, is unbelievable so so Tower of Terror is definitely my favorite um Version, version in Florida, in Florida because, because it's from, it's from a, a, a thrill, 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 so I was, so in I, was in Sh- I was in I was in Shanghai, Shanghai and Singapore, and, Singapore and, and, and Tokyo, Tokyo all, all in, in uh, December, December last, last year, year right? in the right. middle, the middle of, of things 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 starting, things starting with the oh, uh, 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 world, world, world international, international virus. virus. Um, um, and yes, yes, I got, yes, it. I got it. So, so um, <laughs> um, but uh, but uh, it was. It was I got, I got, I got a very mild, mild of it. So no worries, no worries about, about that. that. I'm, I'm spreading, spreading it through the phone. The phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, uh-huh. but, uh-huh. but, uh-huh. <laughs> but I realized, but I realized that, that my, my, my friend Bill, Bill, Bill was, was with, with me, basically, basically said, said, you know, you know it, would it would take you just as long to get you to get to, to, get to, get to Tokyo as it does for you to get to, to um, um, get to Orlando. Orlando. And it's, and it's, it's like, it's like, se- I think a seven or eight hour flight, flight from Tokyo, from Tokyo mm-hmm. to California. And it's, and like, and it's like a five or six, five or six hour flight, flight depending, on depending on how, what the, what uh, the uh, headwind, headwind is, is to Orlando. To Orlando. So, I'm like, so I'm like, you know what, maybe I'm just going to start going to Tokyo more often. Yeah, seriously. Because the Tokyo Disney is truly my favorite. Yeah, yeah. It's my favorite. It's, my favorite. it's, it's such, such a different, different world, world over there. there. It's, 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 it's completely, completely unlike, unlike anything, anything you, will, you will ever be able to expect, expect or, imagine. or imagine. It's just it's a different, different, a different, a different animal, animal altogether. altogether. So, so if you get a chance, get a chance to go to, to, uh, to uh, Tokyo, Tokyo Disney Sea, definitely, definitely go. go. Um, yeah. um, there's, a, there's, there's a giant, giant liner, liner there. Mm-hmm. That's, that's kind of in, in the harbor, um, um, and, and you can you see, see from the top, from the top of, it, of it. You there's just there's beautiful, beautiful kind of view, view of Mount Fuji, Mount Fuji as a silhouette, as a silhouette. And, it's just, and it's just it's just oh, so so, cool. it's so it's very so very Japanese. Japanese. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's really, really really it's really it's really neat. neat. That would be amazing. Yeah, that's yeah, one I've never, you know, I've gone to Disneyland, I've gone to Disney World, I've never been out of country. Oh, oh. Uh, it, it, I mean, I, I mean, I've been all the Disney parks. My favorite is probably Tokyo Disney Sea. It's just a neat, it's a beautiful park. It's, um... It's 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 so so well kept up, and, and we don't, we act, don't act, Disney, Disney doesn't actually, doesn't actually own, own it. Um, it's, um, it's, owned by, it's owned by Orion Land, Land Company. Company. So, so they're the ones that put the money, the money into, into it. it. And mm-hmm. and, um, um, and Disney and Disney, uh, uh, Disney Disney basically, basically just, just is a going partner or um, creativity, creativity, uh, uh, creatively. creatively. So so yeah, it's really it's really pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, so definitely, definitely good. That's my that's recommendation. My recommendation to to I'm not, not going to say that. Say that. <laughs> sure, sure, that's what they all say. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, Disney needs to get people, people, people back. Disney needs to get people, people back, back in the park people people like money, right money right now. They definitely yeah. Yeah. Not, be, not be paying, not be paying me for that. that. <laughs> Seriously. All right. No, all right. One of these days, I'm dying to take Derek to Disney. Because he's never been. never been. That's so crazy to me. I know. I know. that? He would love it so much. Well, that's the line. Yeah, I love it right. Why can't we let you go back? Uh, I, 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 the whole the system, system that they're, that they're kind of redeveloping, I don't think there's a lot of people waiting, 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 wai
don't think that's gonna, that's gonna happen. happen. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. But I took I took a, I took a, I took a, somebody there, somebody there like, like I guess I guess three, three years ago, years ago? Mm-hmm. two and a half, two and a half, three and a half, three and a half years ago for the first for the time first time Disneyland. Disneyland. And she and she didn't get get she didn't she didn't get the whole like idea idea of it of it. And, and she's like, I don't, like, I don't, I don't, she's from she's Australia. Australia. She's like, I don't, I don't quite get, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't quite get, get it. Like, I'm, like, I'm not a big Disney, Disney person. person. Like, you've never been? No, 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 She's just a she's friend. Just a friend. Um, um, but uh, but uh, it was it was it was funny funny to to see her see her and her friend talking. talking. She basically she basically like, like I get it. I get I'm, it. A I'm a Disney person. person. <laughs> I'm finally finally a Disney person. So, so, so that's really cute. Really cute. Yeah, there's yeah. something yeah, else. Yeah, there's, 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 there's just like, just like magic, magic that like, like comes from the part of the park that you just can't even describe. Well, and I think that especially with um. Especially, Especially with, with Disney, Disney, uh, Disney uh, Land, Land as opposed to Disney, Disney World, World, there's something, there's something about, about Disneyland Land just because, just because it's, it's the classic. classic. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, 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 people don't, people don't they don't get it. They don't get what's special about it until they go. And then once they go, there's like this like palpable, it's hard to describe until you felt it. But it's very, very, very different. Disneyland is very, very different in the world way. So, so. Yeah, that, yeah, is, that, that is, is that is true. It's been a long time since I've been to Disney World, though. Uh, uh, I, uh, it's been a long, been a long time since anybody's been to Disney World. Unfortunately, but I was there. I guess last week. Last week. Um, um, yeah, yeah, just yeah, going just through going Disney Springs, Springs and everything like that. Like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it was it was it was it was it was weird, weird, but you know, you know, it's a way to way to kind of. It's a way to get, way out, to get out, out of this thing, thing. and they're doing, yeah, they're, doing, they're, doing, they're, doing, they're doing a really, doing a really good, good, job good job with it. So, so. And there's a couple there's a things couple that I was talking, I was talking to somebody, to somebody last night about, night about the importance, the importance of mass, of mass, uh, mass testing. testing and figuring yeah, out, yeah, out yeah, a way yeah, to mass, mass testing, testing out there, there so, so that so people can go and go and enjoy enjoy and not have not stress not have not stress stress about. Worried about, worried about that. So, so. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, well, I mean it, it does it like does put, like, a, put a, a damper on on that magic if that's something you have to sit there and worry about. Yeah, yeah. But we'll get we'll get out we'll get through this. We've been through. We got through the black plague. Some of us. <laughs> some of us got through the black plague. <laughs> I uh, mean, there's still cases to this day. So <laughs> isn't that crazy? <laughs> um, there's a there's a girl that I. Free plug. There's a girl that I follow on um, on YouTube called Ask a Mortician. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> it sounds like such a macabre thing, but <laughs> o- obviously completely appropriate discussing Tower of Terror, right? Yes. Um, <laughs> but she's uh, she's a mortician, and she like tours all these places around the world, and she visits different old cemeteries and different like. Um, uh, 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 what am I trying to say? When they have saints like buried in old churches and stuff like that, the mm-hmm. incorruptible saints and stuff like that. Um, but she was going through. Uh, she was in London, and she was talking about how uh, how beautiful this park was in London. And she went and just sat under this big old tree, and that there were mm-hmm. people around and running around. And I, I, I forget what she said the name of the field was, but it was just just this little neighborhood park, and the field literally was the burial ground for everybody during the black plague um they just started throwing people in it so it's like a mass <laughs> everywhere you go in in the uk you are on top of people mm-hmm. um and she was just talking about uh she was talking about like these different these different areas that you don't think of um as being you know this kind of hollowed hollowed ground mm-hmm. um but uh, it's it's one of my favorite. If you guys get a chance, it's very interesting, and it's not nearly as macabre as it sounds. It's about a lot of. Um, <laughs> she talks about like uh, like history and art and all of this stuff, everything having to do with kind of. Uh, she she went and visited um, this, the colony in Hawaii, where mm-hmm. they I forget where they you know it was a former former leper colony, um, but oh. they were they were she was like touring through there and just how beautiful this place was mm-hmm. on, on Molokai. Um, and, uh, and seeing kind of seeing that and seeing how art associated 
uh, just different art, how different art associates with our relationship to mortality. And I think even with things like Tower of Terror, mm-hmm. you know, Walt, Walt Disney loved, like, he loved the whole, like, spooky death thing. If you look at Pirates yeah. of the Caribbean, if you look at that, yeah. and there's just a kind of a weird, this weird connection that we have as human beings to our own kind of awareness of mortality. Um, sure. And I think that the more we uh, we kind of acknowledge it and have fun with it, um, the more, more we sort of connect as people. Um, mm-hmm. And I think that's why the the, the cosplay community was, is is full of so many macabre macabre twisted people, which is why <laughs> I I love them all so much. <laughs> it's true though. Yeah, bunch of yeah, bunch of sickos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know that's. That is part of it, you know. I listened to this uh, a podcast that's called My Funeral Home Stories. Oh, and... God, see, it's the same thing. I love that. Yeah. It's, it's about, like, a guy that grew up in, like, his family business was funeral homes. Uh-huh. And, like, his, like, experiences and that kind of, like, it's interesting. I, I, I am completely fascinated by this thing, <laughs> um, by, this, by this channel. So ask a mortician. She's got the best bangs you've ever seen. Okay. Uh, well, to kind of, you know, take us off track here a little bit. Um, yes. Question that, uh, you know, a couple of comments people have come in, you know, um, you know, we look setting, but uh, how do you come up with your art concepts? They're really unique. Is one. Oh, thanks. Well, there's, they're sometimes unique. A lot of, I am, I am, <laughs> I am standing, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants, especially when it comes to, uh, especially when it comes to my Disney stuff. Um, I've got, you know, there's a few things that I'm working on right now. And obviously, you know, I didn't create Mickey Mouse, but I think every, everything that we do, everything that we do and, and live our lives as is kind of, in, especially as artists kind of informs that. So I think I end up um, being really inspired by just different things that I've come across um, and incorporating my love for Disney and my uh, kind of, you know, professional career. Um, it, I see things sort of like we were talking about, like the, the Je- Jessica Rabbit Twilight Zone Tower of Terror mm-hmm. thing, as well as some other stuff um, as far as some pins and stuff that I'm I'm working on concepts of. Uh, it, so much of it is inspired by my childhood and what I loved as a kid mm-hmm. um, and kind of what I grew up with. I, I tend to love more classic Disney. So I'm more of a, I'm more of a classic vintage Disney guy. Um, mm-hmm. So my concepts, a lot of times they're inspired by old school illustration, as well as a lot of vintage Disney. And there's certainly a plethora of, uh, of that inspiration <laughs> available. So sure. that's really cool. Um, somebody else. Uh, can't wait to see when it's done. Yay. Um, what is Yay. your favorite medium to work with? Okay. So I have to tell you guys something. I, I literally picked up oil paints for the first time last night in 25 years. (laughs) So (laughs) it might, oil might be my new favorite thing, but um, there's an artist named Joe Rubenstein, uh, Rubenstein, Rubenstein, that um, I I work with. We have a, we have the same publisher that we're working with and he and I have become fast friends and I'm a huge fan of his work. And he is a Marvel guy. He actually was a co-creator on Thanos. and he's a Marvel guy, but he just, he inspired me by, we were talking about oils and he's been showing me some of his just quick <laughs> stuff. So mm-hmm. I'm like, oh my, oh my God, dude, I want to paint like, I want to paint like you. Um, <laughs> so I decided to go and pick up some oils yesterday afternoon. And for the first time in 25 years, mm-hmm. I, uh, I, I decided to paint something uh, in oil. Do you guys want to see? You want to see what I painted? All right, hold on. Of course we do. (laughs) Okay. So I did this yesterday afternoon. It's still very, very wet. And I I had it out in the car, like, um, to try to make it dry a little faster because I have no (laughs) clue. Because I have no clue what I'm doing. And it, like, I was walking with it and I didn't have a shirt on and it blew against my chest. And I totally, (laughs) I totally had, like, a big (laughs) smudge of oil, of oil on my chest and so I had to go back in and touch it up but this is a piece that I did for the first time in like oh, ever yeah, pick, beautiful ever picking up oil so 
um, <laughs> like in, in, in my adult life since I was a kid. But anyway, so I painted that yesterday. First try. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I might go back. Well, in I wish all of us had that much talent on our first try. <laughs> well, the technique's the same. I mean, if the tech, I, I think that the, yeah. the, 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 tr the, the track is the same. It's just what, uh, what train is on it. So I yeah. think I, the train I decided to use was oil on that one. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's just something getting used to, but I think I'm going to be painting in some oil, oil more often. Cause I really enjoyed it. Mm. Um, and I will try to keep my chest hair out of the paintings from now on. <laughs> well, I mean, we can it, you know, just kind of adds to the scruffy. <laughs> There's a lot of things that, that artists have used in their paintings through the years. So <laughs> I, uh, I think chest hair is the most tame. You know what? There is a fair bit of dog hair in all of my costumes. So. <laughs> oh yeah. What kind of dogs do you guys have? <laughs> we have two. They're uh, German Shepherd Husky mixes. Oh my god! And so they're they're, they're massive. Yes, <laughs> I mean they're not like massive, massive. Aries is like seventy-five pounds, and Athena's like uh, fifty-five pounds. Okay, seventy-five <laughs> is not a small dog. <laughs> no, they're not small dogs by any means. <laughs> they sound they sound like trouble. I love it. Oh, for sure. They're both about a year and a half. So, oh, like puppies yeah. then. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> they, did, you, uh, you get, did you get them as puppies? Uh, we got Aries when he was three months, and then we got Athena when oh. she was nine. Oh, so nine my months. God. <laughs> those, are, those are great ages. Every age oh, is yeah. great age for dogs. It's, I'm such it's a, really true. I'm they uh, definitely are. I'm sure they're waiting right outside my door right now because they would love <laughs> to be in here in my lap. <laughs> and they heard and they heard their names. So. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I was uh, doing my first uh, stream, you know, doing my makeup and stuff in the hallway where there is no door. So, you know, they jumped in for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, I posted something on um, I posted something on Facebook about newscasters during this time that were like um, interrupted by families and pets. <laughs> It was just yeah. like the bet. I mean, I, we, we've all seen them before where a newscaster mm -hmm. is broadcasting from home. Mm -hmm. um but there was one you know of course there's the famous one where i think he's in the uk and the, kid, the, the kids like come bursting through the door oh and, like goodness, dancing. Just, yes. <laughs> and then the wife i think it's the wife she like is crawling on her knees trying to hide herself on camera but totally not at all and, oh, and trying to like I... trying to like back out <laughs> I, have, I have watched that one so many times and it makes me laugh out loud every time <laughs> oh, i was roaring it's one of my favorite videos well if the dogs want to interrupt us it's perfectly okay <laughs> okay well the door is closed so they won't come in now but they all right maybe to. maybe at the end <laughs> okay I'll, tell them i I'll said hello them, i'll let them in aries Perfect. gets to be a little uh camera shy sometimes but athena yeah. is like she is right in the heart of everything. <laughs> I'm the greatest star. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we have a couple of people mention that this is looking so good. Oh, shucks. <laughs> as far as your oil painting, they said the chest hair adds texture. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's definitely texture on it. Nobody can accuse me of not having texture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> See? Yeah, just different uh, medium. <laughs> uh, I'm a mess. <laughs> that's okay. You know what? I feel like most artists, you know, that's just part of the gig. <laughs> yes. We're all we're all a mess. <laughs> well, I, I if this is the, this is very much like exactly like a real life in person con, except that there's uh there's a, a lot less sweat. <laughs> and uh, there's there, but there's also no kettle corn as easily available. So mm -hmm. I miss out. I I miss the con kettle corn a lot. And I probably have three or four bags a show, which is terrible. <laughs> My waistline is slightly happier, but I make up for it in other ways. Yeah, see, mine's not because you know we have not been eating well during this quarantine. <laughs> no, no. The, the COVID, yeah, COVID nineteen has nothing whatsoever to do with the year and the amount of pounds that I've gained. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not at all, and you know, not like the gyms are closed or any of that fun stuff. <laughs> Oh, I know. Well, I have no excuse because I, I have a beautiful area to walk in every day. And if, a, a, a while ago out here in California, they, uh, 
you, they uh, opened up the beaches. So we were able to go, you know, run on the beach and walk on the mm -hmm. beach. So I, I, I go for my, my, my daily beach walk, which is nice. Yeah, um, that is lovely. <laughs> it was, it is lovely. But I, uh, I guess about two weeks ago before the mm -hmm. beaches were offic officially open, they were just like open for like walking on, but they weren't, you couldn't do anything else. Uh -huh. They, uh, they, I was sitting on a rock, like out on the jetty, just by myself, minding my own business. So pretending and they told, to be Ariel, okay? <laughs> yes, yes. Um, <laughs> uh, just at the right moment where she puts her hands on the rock and arches her back. <laughs> um, but uh, they told me that I ha I could stand on the rock, but I couldn't sit on the rock. <laughs> they literally came up and they were telling people that they couldn't sit, but they could stand. So, uh, Ari poor Ariel would have not have been a happy camper. Yeah, for sure. What and am I supposed to do? Dreams. <laughs> I know. So it was just some, you know, it's just some nineteen-year-old cute kid that was like, "I'm sorry, sir, but you." They told us <laughs> you're not allowed to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. It was that, that kind of thing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's a good impression, by the way. <laughs> That's the only impression I do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 try, I, I try to do Christopher Walken to make my son laugh, but he's not <laughs> laughing because I'm funny or clever. He's laughing because it's so bad. <laughs> Sounds you know, good. And I do lots of Christopher Walken. Uh, I think you're good on the flashlight. If you need to, if you need to relax for any reason, I, you're allowed. I think I'm okay, actually. Perfectly allowed to. You're poor. Your poor. I guess you know what if you're if you're not going to the gym, that's a good way to like. Yeah, right. You know, up. working on yeah. the curls. We yeah. uh, built a new closet in our garage for a lot of our costumes because we're running out of space. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so we've been, you know, working outside in our lovely 110 degree weather. Jeez. And, <laughs> and I've been like having to like hold up these huge shelves. And it has not been fun. <laughs> you're getting some, so, you you're know, getting some guns. Exactly. I'm, I'm the way I look at it, you know, working out those muscles. No, this is actually a pretty it. nice little pose because, uh, you know, I'm kind of supporting the arm with the flashlight. So it's easy. Yeah, you can handle yeah. it. <laughs> I, I have There's definitely been some worse poses for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I'm working with uh, with my publisher right now on doing uh, a cover for a new King Arthur piece uh -huh. um and i need to try to find like a lady of the lake to, mm -hmm. to like present present a sword to arthur for the cover of this, this king arthur thing mm -hmm. and i cannot for the life of me imagine some poor girl having to stand there for, for 20 minutes and getting just the right <laughs> pose yeah um to hand a sword to uh to hand a sword to arthur so whoever, well, whoever, if, you, if, if any guys want to volunteer, you can volunteer <laughs> here in California. I need a model. I'll buy you booze. <laughs> well, if you need me to come on out, Arizona's not too far. And uh, I have Perfect. some uh, nice little prop swords that are, you know, they look like oh, swords, oh, but oh, they are oh, light. Oh, oh. So my friend, um, mm -hmm. I was, uh, so we do movie night every night, every Friday at my friend's house. Uh, we've been doing mm -hmm. it for years. And he's my friend is a guy behind like the Indiana Jones adventure at Disneyland and big thunder mountain. Mm -hmm. So he's a Disney guy many years. He owns Excalibur, like from the film. Oh, he, uh, wow. Ex Excalibur is in his bedroom. So I, uh, I'm like, Hey Tony, I need to get, I need to borrow this. He's like, all right, yeah, that's <laughs> fine. So he's got, ex he's got King Arthur's throne from the film and he's got Excalibur, um, the actual Dang. sword that was used in the film. So it might be kind of neat for me to like use the Excalibur sword as the inspiration for Excalibur in the painting. Yeah. Um, I, I think that I, that may be the first artist in history to use the actual Excalibur as the inspiration for Excalibur. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool, though. I know. I, I don't deserve it. <laughs> it's pretty neat. But the art that one of the other artists is working on a project as well as Joe Rubenstein, who I was telling you about, uh, the Marvel Mar Marvel artist, and oh, cool. um, I can't wait to see what he comes up with. That's what's so cool in this community with artists in general, especially the comic book community, mm -hmm. is how supportive 
most of us are of each other and like yeah. we're such such huge fans of each other mm -hmm. um that it's it's really neat it's it's the same way with with cosplay right i mean yeah uh, say in, in certain circles people are super yeah. cool <laughs> yeah i was gonna say there are the bad eggs but for the most there's part the, you know there's the there's the occasional sap that's uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> I always give my brother grief but because my brother's like the nicest guy in the world, but he's a, he's a <laughs> pretty well known in the cosplay community. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, he's like, I said, Mike, you know that you're like the only like really, truly sweet Captain America that I've met. I'm sure there are others. I've just that I personally mm -hmm. met. And I said, you're also the only Captain America that I've ever been able to beat up. You were just eight years old but <laughs> <laughs> you know gotta add to the ego uh, yeah I'd be you know, I would, America. I would, but i wouldn't want to mess with him now he's six foot uh he's six foot five and outweighs me by a son oh, man <laughs> yeah he's a he's a big dude yeah no thanks well anybody else has any questions i'm happy to answer yeah, no, no new questions have come in. How yet. dare you guys ask some uh, questions? <laughs> How dare they? We have a five minute warning though. Uh oh. Well, I'll, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm just getting into highlights on this. This puppy, so. <laughs> so All right. Uh, well, thanks. It's totally the artist, not the model. <laughs> Oh, the model looks great. She's perfect. <laughs> this is a very kind of quick, annoying, uh, though. <laughs> I know she won't stop talking. <laughs> I know you're trying to focus on your art, and here she is bothering you. All right, so I gotta. I'm now. I'm gonna move into highlights, so you guys get to watch my highlights. Woohoo! Exciting. <clears throat> oh, another question. What's stop. your favorite art piece? My favorite art piece that I've ever done. Um, this is one of my favorites. So I did this piece um a while ago. This is let's see if you can oh, see I it. I love so, that one. Yeah. So people know, kind of know me for that piece. Um, I tell you, it's like whatever the piece is that gets me to the next piece. <laughs> you know, it's like the, the old Jerry Seinfeld joke about what's your favorite breath of air? Like whatever yeah. gets me co to continue. Um, so I I feel that for sure. I get that um, with a lot of costumes too. Like everybody, like what's your? I'm like, well, you know, Lady Death's always going to be like one of my my faves. But like, yeah, you know, I, there's so many. It's like, well, what's the newest one I just made? That's usually my yeah. favorite right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, my uh, my favorite one of my favorite pieces I've ever painted is um, is there's an aerial piece where it's aerial and flounder, mm -hmm. and it's 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 called uh, If Only. And I actually did a music video called "If Only" with Tracy Hines, and um, it was a so that's a that's a special piece. It's a special piece for me, and it's also one of my favorite pieces. And it's huge. It's massive. It's like five. It's like five feet across. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, and there's another piece I'm working on right now of uh, Peter Pan and the children flying over London. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, and that piece is four feet across. So. Very neat. Another question came in. Do you prefer live models or still references? A little bit of both, actually. I like working with live models because then I can get them to give me the exact reference that I need. Mm -hmm. um, but I try to work with, I obviously, I need to get photos so that I can, unless I'm doing a quick sketch type thing, um, mm -hmm. which this is kind of a quick, kind of a quick sketch. Uh, but um, I, I, I enjoy both, but I like working from from photos that I've taken of reference from live models, if that okay. makes any sense. So it's kind of that, that the com the combo, the best of both worlds for me. That does make sense. You know, I love dry, drawing live models. Totally joking. I can't draw to save my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, it was funny. Uh, so I, I went to art school um, mm -hmm. before I dropped out of art school <laughs> and I, um, like the first time ever in an art class, I walk in to this this live drawing and I had come in late and mm -hmm. um that which the teacher just was not abiding. The instructor <laughs> was not happy, was not happy with me. But I walk in and there is this this very 
delightful little person <laughs> in leprechaun shoes with a leprechaun hat and nothing else because it was St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> so he was posing um, on the table in the middle of the room as in it, it was a live drawing class. So he was posing and it was, uh, you know, it, it, we actually had, the instructor was, was really great that way because um, we would, we would be able to use like things that wouldn't necessarily, you wouldn't think of as life models. Mm -hmm. Like that, that wouldn't be our very first immediate thing, but because of that, it got your mind out of the expected and it just allowed that part of your brain to focus on um, lines and curves and highlight and shadow. Mm -hmm. And, and we didn't, uh, we didn't like try to do the expected all the time. So that was kind of neat. So a naked really leprechaun cool. was one of my, my top, <laughs> my top life, life, life model stories. And the guy was delightful. He just, he had a great sense of humor. And mm -hmm. It was really, really fun. <laughs> Perfect. I'm sure we all have a naked leprechaun story, you know. Uh, well, that's the only one that I feel comfortable t <laughs> telling. Ah, uh, of course. Yeah, maybe we'll uh, save the rest for the R rating. Uh, well, what stays? What stays in Vegas? You know. <laughs> what was that saying again? We got sixty seconds. Yes. Beautiful. The curtain will rise in three minutes. <laughs> Does anybody else remember that movie, Noises Off? Uh -oh. oh, you never saw it? Mm -mm. Uh, Mike, Michael Caine and uh, Christopher Reeve and Carol Burnett. And it was an all-star cast. You guys should see it. Oh, man. Well, do you want to give them again where they can find all your work and where they can see you, the uh, yes. finished product? So you, yes. If you guys want to um, find me on Mulligan Jimmy, I don't know if you can see that. So it's Mulligan Jimmy on Instagram. My Patreon is James C. Mulligan. I'll write that down as well so you guys have that. Um, Patreon is James C. Mulligan. And my, uh, my website is uh, James C. Mulligan. Dot com. So hopefully you guys can read my uh, phys physician writing here. <laughs> Don't ever ask me to write a prescription. Perfect. So James you know C. It's Mullen. beautiful, but more beautiful than a lot of people's writing. So uh, it's, it's it's fancy. You just can't read a damn thing. <laughs> well, wonderful. It's been a pleasure. It has been a pleasure. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys.